Huh? Disclaimer. I have a new retainer in my jaw, like a bite plate, and it's like, it's got like half a centimeter of plastic, like above my teeth. So I have a bit of a list, so if you can't really hear what I'm saying, I'm sorry. Hello. It's been a while since I've done a chant. Mostly I've just been singing songs. But I thought I would break up the songs with a little chat about Spoonie cooking advice. Now, first things first, what's a Spoonie? It is me. I'm a Spoonie. Spoonies are, it's like the worst metaphor. I hate it so much, but I'm kind of stuck with it. And the one nice thing about it is that like most people who are Spoonies know about it. So you can say like, hey, Spoonie, and then you can be like, connect. So basically what a Spoonie is, it's this person who has less energy than normal people do. Think of a spoon as like a unit of energy and spoonies basically go through units of energy quicker than other people and they start each day with less units of energy. Cooking can seem like a bit of an overwhelming task, especially when you have less energy, right? And it can kind of seem like a chore and it become easy to just eat like junk food or eat in or whatever, but firstly this gives you less energy and then secondly it's expensive to order out all the time, right? Cooking at home is generally cheaper, especially if you cook in bulk and stuff. Now, I'm not a nutritionist, I'm not a food expert or anything, so go to those people for actual nutrition advice. These are just some tips for things that have made cooking easier for me. It helps that I really like to cook, so I prioritize it a bit more, and I definitely notice a huge difference in like my pain levels and my energy levels when I eat better, which is not to say that I don't enjoy a takeaway or fast food or, you know, an entire bag of flings or something like that, because I do. Uh, it's just, I try to eat as many veggies as possible, basically. Some of these things seem super obvious, but you never know, they may be helpful. And also, it's just sometimes we don't think about it, you know? So my first tip is to plan ahead. And then that just like, take as much effort out of the thinking as possible. So find some recipes you like. Buy a cookbook, which is like a more expensive way of finding recipes, or for magazines, or you get free recipes online. Find recipes, cook those, then you don't have to think, right? Take the thinking of like, what am I gonna eat? Take that stress out of it. Unless you like just spur of the moment. But it, also what this does is, like finding recipes, is it gives you like a direction for your shopping list and then you can do a week's grocery shopping. Now my tip is to shop online for groceries. It may seem lazy, but it's so not because it takes a while and then you don't have to carry stuff and sometimes there's free delivery slots so you don't even have to pay extra. And then when it comes to shopping, buy things in bulk because it's cheaper and a well-stocked pantry honestly means you're more likely to cook more often. Having stuff in the fridge and your cupboard just makes cooking so much more likely to happen, right? You're not gonna cook if you have to go to the shops three times a week, that's a mission. And also it's okay to buy pre-chopped stuff. I know sometimes it uses more plastic and I'm really trying to cut down my plastic but also if you can't chop lots of veggies you can't chop lots of veggies buy pre-chopped stuff buy sauce in a jar buy pasta try and buy like loose fruit and veg as well but make sure you have a couple things for like a really lazy day so pasta pasta sauce that's a meal right super easy buy a few ready meals if that's like it's better to eat something than nothing right buy frozen veggies that are already chopped up because those are awesome you use the fresh stuff first and then next week you've got a bunch of frozen veggies that you can just heat up these are my good sources for easy recipes first one is the bosch cookbook which i just bought uh recently and it's really nice because the recipes are kind of ordered by time so the ones in the beginning less time as they go on more time so that's quite nice you can kind of like pick the recipes based on how much time and effort you're wanting to put in the other one is the deliciously ella cookbook those recipes tend to call for more expensive ingredients but what i like about it is that the recipes generally call for only a couple of ingredients they're normally really simple it just kind of gives you an idea or a starting point and then you can like get fancy if you want to so that the deliciously edit recipes you can either buy the cookbooks or find them online like i said they're pretty easy you might be like why do i even need a recipe for this for me just having some sort of stimulus even if I don't follow it to a T, follow the recipe exactly. It's just super helpful. Don't try cooking three times a day. That is that is a lot. Three times a day to like cook a full meal. Panic. So don't be afraid to have like a smoothie which is not cooking. A smoothie can yeah smoothies is like I'll get to that smoothie or like some cereal for breakfast or maybe breakfast in the mornings when you have the most energy so then you want to make like a fancy breakfast and then just have something simple for dinner. Also good. And then make big meals, like cook for five people. It's kind of like meal prepping, except you're not cooking for the whole week on a Sunday in one go. It's just every time you do cook, try and cook extra. 
So you can prep one ingredient. You don't even have to prep a whole meal, but just try and make your life easier as much as possible. So a note on smoothies. Okay. On Instagram, you see all these fancy smoothies and they use 600 ingredients. It's like a teaspoon of this, half a teaspoon of that, a splash of this, and like some magic unicorn essence. Smoothies do not need to be that complicated. My go-to smoothie is two bananas, some soy milk, some water, some protein powder. It's like the easiest thing. You don't have to chop anything. You don't have, you just, put it in the thing and then bzzz. smoothies do not have to be half as complicated as like Instagram sometimes makes them seem. Snacks, easy to make snacks. Popcorn is a great one because it's like relatively good for you. It's got lots of fiber and stuff and it's not that complicated to make and you can buy it ready made as well. Energy bars are a bit expensive as a snack, I find. Well, at least the vegan ones are all like 30 rand each, but they're really great for traveling. So I always travel with a bunch of energy bars. And then fruit is just like waiting for you. I don't like fruit that much, which makes me a weird vegan, I guess, or maybe a weird human. I just really don't like sweet things, but sometimes a nachi or whatever is just easy, effortless snacking. I can't eat apples because my jaw is like, funky but so I can only really eat soft fruit but yeah fruit is a great one and then my final tip right is to make pancakes it's gonna sound like a weird tip but it's honestly like life-changing so when I have some energy I make a big batch of pancake I normally use oat flour instead of regular flour so that they're like a bit more nutritious and a bit more filling than a regular pancake and I just make a huge stack and I eat like three or four and then I just freeze the rest so instead of, don't keep the batter because that just never works make all of them freeze what you don't eat and then the next day you can just pop them in the toaster and you can have pancakes every day of the week but you only have to make pancakes one day of the week which is great so it'll look like you're having a fancy meal every day but really all you did was pop something in the toaster which is as much effort as it is to make a piece of toast and then you just put some peanut butter on your pancakes or whatever which like I said same amount of effort as it would be to make a piece of toast but you get pancakes all right you're welcome i hope this was helpful that is my spoony cooking advice and that is a video from me feel free to like it or subscribe to my channel and leave a comment if you have any questions or any advice for me or other tips that you feel like sharing with the world <laughs>